after Jesus. And that's why we put our faith in him. That's why he split time in two. He rose from the dead. Really? And that's why he's worth following. Really? Jesus Christ, can you come down to me today and prove yourself? Okay. Where are you? Jesus! Joe's my mate. He's going to talk to you in a minute. One question to you, Joe, and then over to you. Okay, thank you, boys. Just let you down there. Now, Joe, you've got a little talk on the board, but just tell the people what age were you and where you were when you knew that your past was forgiven and Jesus had changed your life on the inside. I was 18 and I was impressed in Vinny. You were impressed when you were 18. Are you glad you made that step? Very glad, yeah. Joe, over to you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, a very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to ask you a bit of a question. All of you in Southport, here's my question to you. Do you think that everybody should be allowed to believe what they want to believe? Yes. Yep, you think that? Thank you, sir. Okay, why do you say that? You believe you've got the right to? Good, thank you, sir. Okay, so I'm asking you, that man helped me out there, a bit of interaction. I'm asking you, do you think everybody should have the right to believe what they want to believe? Do you think that's a fair thing in a, a nice uh, de democratic society? Do you think that's what we should be told? Do you think we are allowed to believe what we believe? What do you think? What do you think, sir? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah. yeah, everyone. I'm asking the people today in Southport, should everybody give, be given the right to believe what they want to believe, okay? And, and everyone so far has said yes. So here's my challenge now to the British public. If we're told that we should be given the right to believe what we want to believe, why is it that when I go into a science lesson, I used to work in a school, all the teachers tell us that God is a fairy tale. All the teachers tell us that the Bible is a load of rubbish. Why is that? Why is it that I was in an RE lesson about maybe 10 years ago, and I remember the RE teacher said, I don't want to shock anyone, I don't want to upset anybody, but Adam and Eve is a fairy story. If we're supposed to be allowed to believe what we want to believe, why is it the teachers, when we're already kids, when we're just starting out, we're already told there's no such thing as God? There's my problem to you, British public. If you're an atheist, if you're a skeptic, you tell me now why it is we're told when we go into a science lesson, there is no God. What do you think? I don't think that's fair, is it? But let me tell you this, if you are an atheist, I really would love to chat to you. I'd love to tell you about this God who loves you deeply. This God who came into the world, who died for sinners. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a sinner, you're a sinner. I'll let you into a secret. That lady there is my wife. And that little baby in that pram is my son. Now, do you think that I've ever made that lady there cry? What do you think? I'm a married man. Do you know I've ever made my wife cry before? Yeah, she's saying, yes, I have actually, okay? You see these eyes, okay? If everything that I've seen in my life was put on this screen, on this board here, would I be ashamed of anything I've looked at? What do you think? I would actually. You see these lips? <coughs> do these lips have ever said any bad things? They have. But now ask me this question. Am I going to heaven? I am not because I'm a good person. As you can see, I'm not. But there are two types of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, is there anyone here today in Southport who's perfect? We're not. You're perfect, thank you. You look perfect, yeah. I like your uh, Vulcan t-shirt, your jumper. Are you a skateboarder, sir? You are? You must be perfect then. Yeah, a bit like Tony Hawk. Please just stick around. But we're not, are we? We're not perfect. We all tell lies. We all get angry. Maybe we've stolen things, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I know you think so. But we're not, are we? But I'll tell you, we can all get to heaven because 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ bled and died on a cross. Now, if you leave with one thought, leave with this one. There's a verse in the Bible that says this. Without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And Jesus Christ shed his blood so that we could be forgiven and washed white in snow. Now on this board, I've got some uh, celebrities. I've got some people who said some uh, interesting things. And I'm asking you, who said that? So uh, again, more interaction. If you can help me out, please help me out. Who said that? To be or not to be? That is the question. Who said that? William Shakespeare said that, thank you. Okay, what about this one? Uh, I laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Who said that? Who do you think said that one? That was Simba of the Lion King who said that one. Okay, what about this one? Okay, 
You are never too small to make a difference. <laughs> Out of these people below, who do you think said that? The potato girl looks all right. <laughs> the potato it's girl. Greta Thunberg said that. You're right, she said it. Yeah, okay. Okay, last one before we move on, okay? Who said this? Uh, be nice to people, maybe one day they'll one, maybe one day they'll be rich. Who do you think said that? Do you watch YouTube? PewDiePie said that, okay, because he was bullied at school. Now, here's one that I, I bet you won't be able to guess. Here's a really important quote, and someone said this once. They said, love your enemies. Does anybody know who said that quote? Love your enemies. Me? You said it. Do you believe that, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the man with a pasty. If everyone gave each other a pasty, pound they agree. full of scars. Yeah, yeah. But it's good, isn't it? If we all love each other, it's yeah. important. I'll tell you who actually said it. Jesus Christ said that. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if all the folk in Iran, all the folk in America, North Korea, Britain, all around, if we all took Jesus' words, love your enemies, mm -hmm. would we have any wars anymore? We wouldn't. No. So when people, as a street preacher, I'll tell you, I'll let you into a secret, people are always saying to me, you know, religion causes wars. But if we all just took Jesus' words, love your enemies, we wouldn't have any wars anymore. Jesus spoke a lot of sense. Here's something else he said, and I'll finish with this. I have sense of the responsibility of life. I have a little funny, you know, you called it. Jesus said that. Yeah. And it's me who said, me. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's interesting. What's your name, sir? Gary. Gary, I'm Joe. Really nice to meet you, Gary. But do you know what else Jesus said? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father except through me. So in other words, people say if you if you get dumped, if you go into a pool and get baptized, you get to heaven. If you say many prayers, you can get to heaven. If you go to uh, the mosque, you can go to heaven. But Jesus said the only way to get to heaven is through me. And 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died on a cross for you and me. We celebrate at Christmas this God man entering the world, this little baby Jesus. But he grew up and his only purpose was he was born to die. Because you and I have done wrong things. You and I are sinners. Now, I did say I'd finish. Here's my final quote. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone in Southport today who doesn't believe in God. I don't know if there's anyone in Southport who don't believe in it. Would you call yourself an atheist, Gary? Yeah, okay. Well, here's a challenge to you, Gary, and any other atheist. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter's a terrible book? You've never watched it. What if I said Harry Potter's a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What do you think of me then? You might say, read it first and then make a judgment. Tons and tons of people say to me, the Bible is a load of rubbish. And I'll give anyone who's not too ashamed uh, a portion of the Bible, just take it from my hands, be very welcome to it, and read it through. And ask yourself, does it make sense? What's this man Jesus? about? you about like the Bible? Yeah, that's what I'm standing here. I was just, that's what I just wow. doing, preaching Jesus Christ. Wow. I don't believe it. But to be honest, I believe in evil. Yeah. Well, I was born to be an evil. Plenty of people. I believe he was like a I believe he was like, of, of the day when people weren't so, so, so clever of, of to make their own decisions, yeah, yeah. people used to follow and pack. And if I stand and say, I can climb that tree, this one can't climb a tree. Yeah. And I can't drop it. Yeah, yeah. 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 He controlled the mass. Okay. What he done was say, yeah. I can walk on water, but really, he was, he was making people watch the trip. You yeah. know, and that's yeah. what he yeah. done. Yeah. And then, Gary, do you think that he was a bit like Darren Brown then? The mass, then you're going to leave, and then you could be in power. Yeah. And then, you know, I've got the big house. So we, we can talk about football or we can talk about is Jesus Darren Brown. Jesus, Which one do you want to talk about? Jesus is Darren Brown. He isn't, though, is he? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. <laughs> have, you, have, have you ever, ever prayed to God? Pray, 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 until you cannot see no more. And then you can give up hope. What do you mean, till I can't see anymore? I've prayed to him a lot of times. I'm Catholic. I thought you said you're an atheist, Gary. I was Catholic. Yeah, yeah, but now you're an atheist. Yeah, because yeah. I was going to the church and blessing the water. Yeah. And then, the kids, I did not even want to see me on that one. Because then, people are hiding behind the book. Yeah, okay. And that is deep, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you say. Yeah, we all know what you're saying about when you're referring to the, the crimes in Roman so, so then we talk about hell and what is hell? Because someone is hit behind the block. My children 
Can I ask you, Gary, you've got questions you you'd like to ask me? me yes, yeah, so I'm not... Gary, can I just tell you something? No, just, no, can I just make mean, something really clear what? to everyone? I'm not a Roman Catholic, okay? No, I believe the Bible, mean, okay? Uh, and the Bible teaches very simply, okay, that you can't come... That's the verse I quoted. We don't go to priests, we go straight to Jesus. The priest does sins, he does wrong things. But Jesus is the only one to never do anything wrong. And that's why we put our trust in him. Before you said to me that Jesus was a bit like Darren Brown, okay? Now I'll tell you, Darren Brown, if Darren Brown can die, and then three days later bring himself back from the dead, okay, I'll put my faith in Darren Brown. But only Jesus Christ has done that, and that's the reason why he split time in two. How if you don't mind me asking, Gary, what year were you born in? 1984 years after who? After Jesus. And that's why we put our faith in him. That's why he split time in two. He rose from the dead. Really? And that's why he's worth following. Really? Jesus Christ, can you come down to me today? Prove yourself. Okay. Where are you? Jesus! Gary, is he? Gary, are you drunk? Have what? you been drinking today, Gary? Have I? But no. You know what? That's another thing that someone put on the planet for us to absorb, like trees, plants, shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, well, Gary, right, like, just enjoy your pasty, okay? And I'll just finish. Again, if anyone does, if anyone's not too ashamed, I like you, Gary, okay? Yeah. We oh. don't, I kind of just, a, a little warning there, okay? I'm not, I don't want to come down on you, but just be careful speaking to God like that. Because one day he might show up, okay? And I, I'm just saying. But do you know this, Gary? This is really serious. Gary, Jesus deeply loves you. And if you'll come to him, if you'll put your faith in him, you'll come to the cross and promise to forgive you and wash your white I love everyone standing here. Exactly like Jesus supposedly did. But I'm not about making judgments on who you are, what you do, what colour you are, what race you are, what, what, what sex you are. Okay. Yeah, and Jesus loves everyone, you know, and he does care about you. And Jesus, yeah, but, but you haven't risen from the dead and you're not perfect. I, 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 and I'm not perfect I lie to anyone. I'm with the mass. Yeah. But I can say, I can walk on water, or I can climb that tree. I'm not a vault fan. I've never said I could climb that tree. You did walk on water. I'm not a vault fan. 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 i am not a vault fan 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 i am not a v